made it to the actual convention center at CES 2024. I did not know Reebok was getting into the electric scooter and electric bike world. Check that out. What does this remind me of? What's the top speed on this? Around 40? Wow. So check that out. KKE forks, shocks. 3,500 starting price on this thing. This just caught my eye over at Rydell. So this is their four-wheeler they're gonna be having coming out pretty soon. Right now, this is a prototype at this time. I think when the final version comes out, might might be a little bit different or it might not be. Right now, the top speed is around 60 miles an hour. It's a 72 volt, 110 amp hour battery, and they claim a range of about 90 miles on this thing. So what do you guys think about this? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. And then this is the street tires. They are gonna have like an off-road treaded tire on there too. What does that remind you of? It's exactly just like it that's crazy just like a little bit different looking like in the tank area who's gonna be getting a Bugatti scooter guys comment down below <laughs> what the hell that would be so crazy what if you could watch movies on the front I feel like this is like a cyberpunk car like that video game cyberpunk I don't know if it's your day or your day you die but they actually have like regular Electric motorcycles, electric scooters. They have a pretty cool lineup. I know a lot of this stuff I haven't seen yet in America. What do you guys think about this? This motorcycle caught my eye. Wow. Look at the rim. That is crazy. So he did tell us that this is going to be one of the fastest electric motorcycles in the world. How wild is that? So motor is in the back wheel. That means that the uh, it's an electromagnetic motor, which is an upside down. Okay. So the uh, the inner part where these are going. So this is the uh, the stationary part. All this is a rotationary part. This brings the um, uh, the center of gravity down. And because of this architecture, batteries here, and you have the motor here. There's no power drain, so it's a direct three-phase 400 volts going directly to the motor. So there's no loss of power, and we can control this in milliseconds. Rear brake is is, is here underneath oh. here, uh, but it, this is the rear brakes. There's also region braking. So when you let go, so you start braking, but you can adjust that how much you want. You can also adjust everything in the um, uh, traction control, the torque, and the different ride modes and all that kind of. Stuff. You can oh, do everything amazing. customized. It has cameras on it too, guys. It has six cameras and two radars. So this is one, there's another one, and there's one over here, and there's one in front. And then on the other side also, oh wow. And two on the other side. The same technology that's going to the autonomous driving, we're using it now for the first time in the motorcycle. Okay. And that means that, you know, you are aware of what's going around you. You can do customization. So let's say if it has been a little bit rainy. So you don't want that much torque. You want less the uh, region, but you want to keep the traction control high. If you need to turn left, so you're using a blinker, so this shows your blind side. But if there is somebody, it gives you a warning. And if somebody's approaching really fast behind you, this shows the whole back camera. So we have radar and camera in front, radar and camera in the back. If there's a deer or a car or bicycle coming, so you get alert. Wow. We're using uh, the radar information and the camera information with an AI to understand what was that and give you an alert. The same thing with from the back camera. I've so guys, the top speed of this thing is a 124, but if you're really good at like hacking these bikes or getting into them, you can probably go a little bit faster than 124. I'm not saying you should do it, but you know. <laughs> Let's go through all the specs. 1,200 newton meters of torque, 150 kilowatts of power. Guys, I'm only pushing 12 kilowatts on my Suron. 25 minute fast charger time, uh, zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Check it out. This is Go Wow electric bikes, or I want to say electric dirt bike, the way it looks. Let me know what you guys think this bike reminds you of the model name of this bike is the Ori from go wow this thing looks really awesome in person I want to sit on it let me let me see what this thing feels like oh the display actually looks pretty awesome oh yeah the suspension feels really good full twist throttle they, uh, customized me. everything's all custom made yeah, for you guys of, yeah like, like lights we okay spend a lot of money on the lights and uh, the tire uh, shocks here's our display got a horn <laughs> That's yeah. our up and down for the modes right here. Yeah, yeah. And we have sheep and the tiger and the jaguar. Oh. Sheep is uh, the most tender for the beginner. So here's the treads. So Looks like it has a fatter tire on the back than on the front. Yeah. What do you guys think about this bike? Comment down below. 
Let me know if you guys want to see something like this on the channel, or maybe you guys want to see me go to Beijing and test it out. If you guys do want to get to the to the battery, you got to take the seat cover off and the batteries down here. We use LG battery. LG battery is a 72 volt. Yeah. This is a mid drive motor. I can see the motor right there. Maybe you guys can see it. No, nope, not through there. Bash guard down there. The Ori from GoWow is going to be pushing nine kilowatts of power, and I'm guessing the controller is probably hidden behind here. I like the way the light is hidden kind of like that oh it's really cool guys so let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see something like this on the channel really soon oh wow the walls feel so close this is a real ufc belt here at a pizzeria guys that's what we're staying at big trump hotel right there look at the background what an awesome backdrop are you enjoying vegas yes. so far ces 2024 feels like it's winter that's why we're dressed like this it's like 50 degrees and they were having like 40 mile an hour wind gusts today so i feel like we brought delaware here with us but still we're having a blast here next stop is going to be california and after that we're going to be seeing you guys in austin <laughs> Rich and regrets.